Hello humans, Master Dinnerflex here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve. And as you can see from the intro, I definitely have been building a new version of Live Twin. I said in my everything about blah 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 that this deck can naturally function as its own combination deck. It is not a deck where you have to play pure, and in, and I think in the upcoming meta, it is a deck you don't want to play pure. Just because all the lists I've been seeing feel like they're made in a void that isn't the real meta game. Like, they have more hand trap counters that don't do much of anything into an already established board, so it makes... It, all the lists seem like they're for going first, and if you don't go first, you ought to lose. And that's such a bad, bad place for any deck to be. So, that's why I think the combination decks are better, because you have more tools to deal with established boards. But, why did I choose Sky Striker as my first test? And that is quite simple. Um, this deck is Anime Girls, and I feel the best way to improve an Anime Girl deck is to add more Anime Girls. Like, there, there's not much to say about it. Like, the more Anime Girls you have, the stronger the deck is going to be. So, now that I got that out of the way, I'll explain some choices, and I'll explain some of the theory behind it. But I won't take too long in this video because I talked your ear out last time. Uh, let's get into it. So for the live twin evil twin ratios, it's two of the cyber's normal summons, one of each extenders, and then the level eight. So I despise the level eight with all my heart, but I cannot deny the fact that this is such an exceptional OTK enabler, while also letting you send for Sunny for absolutely free is very nice. When you consider the, the fact that since this is a striker list, you sometimes just want your opponent to run over some of your stuff. So sometimes Sunny has to be free because you want to turn those Sky Striker spells back online. So... That's something to keep in mind with the level 8. But uh, in order to add a striker deck to this deck, you need to cut down on some of the live twin ratios. So I decided two on each normal summon and one of each of its corresponding extender. That means you have three total names and you have one of each extenders for if they get hand trapped. So that's uh, fine. And then that's it for the live twin monsters. And then for the Sky Striker monsters, two ray, and an honorary Sky Striker monster, Hornet drones. These are all ray. Uh, not much to say here. And then for the hand traps, so this hand trap ratio is a little strange, but this isn't a finalized deck list. This is just one I wanted to demonstrate what I'm testing right now. So right now it's three Valor, two Bell, two Ash. So the reason I have them in this order instead of like 3 Ash and 2 and 2 is Valor is one that no matter how many of them you have in your hand, all of them are live. And that is a very nice thing when you consider the fact that with Frost, with Kissy, with Engage, when you have all this draw power, you're going to start cluttering a bunch of hand traps. But if you clutter 2 Ash or 2 Bell... Only one of them is usable. The other is a blank for that turn. But Valor, that is never going to be the case. It will always do the same thing on that same turn. You can draw three or one, and all three of them are live. Uh, that's the theory behind that. And then Ghost Spell, because Ice Dragon's Prison and Called by the Grave are an exceptional against this deck. So I do feel like having a Hand Trap that not only prevents those, but is also pretty decent. It's nice. And then Ash Blossom is that... Next, we got three Secret Password, just a spell that gets another card and puts itself in the grave, which is nice. Uh, Sunny Snitch is kind of nice because, um, well, multi roll should actually be in here. So that's what I meant um, when I said this deck list isn't finalized because um, in the replay videos, 
I forgot to add Forbidden Droplets and Hornet Drones to that deck I was just playtesting with. So that's how absolutely, like... I, I, it's so unfinalized, but I want to give it to you because I know you guys are probably excited for a deck like this and you'd want to test it yourself. So you can see my theory behind it. So Sunny Snitch, uh, it's the tanky, but so you would think it's kind of not great because it keeps itself up as a spell, but that's actually great when you consider Area Zero and multi roll, which is what I wanted to get to earlier, is that this is now just a free nothing card that you can use Area Zero and multi roll on and not really lose anything. So that's kind of nice. And then two home, maybe just one, but it is a way, it is a discard outlet, which is actually kind of relevant. And then three Forbidden Droplet, exceptional, called by the grave, uh, prevents Ghost Spell on this deck, which is very important. And then Eagle Booster, three of, this allows you to play through hand traps. It, it's literally cross out designator, except it also does things going second. So this is very nice. And then Area Zero, uh, Multi-Roll, Three Widow Anchor, Two Shark Cannon. You could also cut this down to one, but I do think you should play it because of Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. This just, once it uses effect, you just out it for good. And then there's also a lot of graveyard effects like Drytron and Phantom Knights that this can just take away from your opponent. And then the Legendary engage and then the trap you probably don't even need to play this either but it's nice to have a search target because otherwise uh secret password is just going to search another sunny snitch which isn't very useful after you've used one uh and then home is like an emergency extender it's not one you always want to activate it's one where you only use it when you have to that's it for the main deck obviously this deck needs to be trimmed down to 40 because you want to see your right striker cards and you want to get to your live twin engine because these have been the starters for the live twins have been cut down so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen well not that cut down okay uh so you have 13 starters but that's still less than the normal version so you do want to kind of get it down to 40 but i haven't figured out how to yet side deck isn't real the only thing i would suggest is nibiru because you can still always do the tag out thing with sunny and then uh, Twister, because it destroys Area Zero, which I'll go over that in a moment. And the extra deck, uh, you probably should play this at three as well. A as funny as it is, these two are absolutely staying at two. But this one can still be a three of. That's just how insane Sunny is at keeping you in the game. Uh, you could probably cut Griffin for it. I don't use Griffin a lot in this list. You already have so many Widow Anchors and whatnot that... This effect really doesn't matter that much. And then two Kissy and two Lilla. So what I want to explain with Lilla is if you get to your live twin combo, but you also have area zero and like a striker spell you want to use like in a colliding amount of turns, like let's say Widow Anchor, what you can do is you can start with Lilla, get Kissy, revive Lilla, and pop the area zero. That will summon Ray from the deck. Now, let me put up this scenario. So, Kissy revived Lilla. Lilla pops area zero. You summon Ray from deck, and you have Widow Anchor in your back row after you make Sunny. So, your field is a Sunny in the extra monster zone and a Ray in the main monster zone, and you set Widow Anchor. Now, you might be wondering, how is that good? And here's why. So, your opponent starts playing. Let's say they normal summon the most powerful monster ever created, Alistair the Invoker. They go activate invoker. Okay, I want a window acre that, obviously. So you go chain link one sunny, tribute itself to tag out. Chain link two, activate sky striker ace ray. And then chain link three, now that you control no monsters, you can activate widow anchor, negate the effects of Alistair. Now ray resolves to summon Kagari, and then sunny resolves to revive Kissy and Lilla. Lola can pop something, Kissy will draw, and Kagari will add back the Widow Anchor. So, you got, you removed a card off your opponent's board, you negated an effect, uh, an effect of a monster on your opponent's board, you grab back uh, the Widow Anchor, and you drew a card. So, that's like a lot of card advantage very quick, doing very little. 
So that's like a really nice interaction with Area Zero, and it's why it's at three. And then for some Nightmares, Phoenix I don't like too much, but since you do have Sky Striker cards, you might need a little more than the uh, than just Unicorn. Unicorn, exceptional. Griffin, I think you can cut. Linger Evo, you cannot, because if a starter gets stopped, but you have no extender, you need to get it in the extra monster zone to keep uh, your striker cards live, and Linger is going to allow you to do that. And it's better than just a Disciple, because this one has an effect on its own, whereas Disciple does not. And then for the striker links, two Kagari, one Shizuku, one Hayate, and one Zeke. Uh, you should probably find room for the Earth one. I cannot remember its name. But that's it for the deck. And it's also... Um... Kind of nice. I don't know if this is the best version. I can tell you, though, this is by a long shot better than the Eldritch version. Because the Eldritch version creates... Needs two cards to create a disruption. Well, yes, those cards keep cycling into each other. They also have the restriction of only zombies, which can be a pain in the ass. And the they um, also, again, like they need two cards to create one disruption. Whereas a Widow Winker is a Widow Winker. Like it doesn't need to, it doesn't need Sky Striker Ace Ray on field to activate. No, it just does that. And the... Link materials are not necessary because of Sunny itself, so Golden Lord just doesn't serve a lot of use. Just not a great version anymore. I think this version is superior. Do I think this is the best combination of this deck? Maybe? Like, this, uh, Sky Strikers have always uh, found really nice homes and one-card decks with a lot of spells, which is what live twins are. So, maybe it is. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm also going to have another replay in the outro if you want to stick around for that. And not much else to say. Thank you all for watching. And remember, Master Dinnerflex will take your soul.